Hello everybody, I'm your boy Luca. Welcome back to the channel. I've got another J Rilla video here for you today. And if you don't know who J Rilla is, then I highly recommend that you go watch my Who is J Rilla part one videos on my channel. There's gonna be a part two coming soon. So keep your eyes peeled and subscribe to the channel for more J Rilla videos if you like J Rilla music. And if you do, what's your favorite J Rilla song? Mine personally, is lonely for the first time his new song that's just released there's a reaction on my channel to that, that you can go click on i'll put that in the description down below so grammy award winner gautier decided that he doesn't want to play nice and he has forced cork's own jay rilla to take down and, and now this is just my opinion but one of his best songs somebody that i used to drill off of all music platforms and Personally, I think this is bullshit, man. This just seems like a case of one motherfucker being salty over another motherfucker. And it, it's disappointing, man. It really is. Nobody cares about Gautier, man. Like, seriously, you're a one-hit wonder. It just feels like Gautier is trying to crush the rising star that is J. Rilla. And I don't think it's going to be possible. I think that J. Rilla is going to surprise us all. And he's just going to keep coming out with some fire tunes. And we all need to fucking keep our ears to the ground. Here is a quote from a This Is A Riviera article. And I'll post the full article in the description if you want to read it there. I'll link it down below. After reaching 1 million views on YouTube, Gautier has forced Jay Rilla to remove his clip. Gautier has forced the removal of Somebody I Used To Draw from all music platforms, a song that reached an incredible 10 million streams in about two months with just Spotify and YouTube after going viral on TikTok. As a reminder, Gautier himself was ordered to donate 45% of the rights for the title, Somebody That I Used To Know, to the family of the late Brazilian singer Louis Bonfa for infringement. Gautier has not made a friend in this story and J. Rilla fans, including us, are disappointed. I reckon Gautier is just mad about paying for this infringement right because I would be too but it feels like he's just trying to recoup his money any way possible and that means taking away money from J Rilla and all over a sample fam like come on you're being a melt and you're annoyed that J Rilla sampled you and managed to make your song better than it originally was you would think that Gautier would put like You'd think he'd understand what Jay Rill is trying to do by being an upcoming artist and just using a sample the same way everybody samples everything in music. I mean, he fucking sampled a title for his song from Louis Bonfer, do you know what I mean? And this whole thing could be in a weird way Gautier trying to protect Jay Rilla in the long run being like, hey, I'm gonna stop you now so you don't do it again because somebody might really fuck you in your career. But at the same time, you could do that behind closed doors maybe he doesn't even have control over it maybe this is just Gautier's fucking label doing it it just feels like the move of somebody that definitely needs money and relevancy to be honest because really who the fuck was listening to Gautier's music so I think this is just really a case of Gautier being salty that Jay Rilla managed to make a catchier song than he did he managed to make somebody that I used to drill a lot better than Gautier made somebody that I used to know and I'm sorry deal with it take the fucking L Gautier would you would you would you want from us F the the people have spoken I don't know if you've seen other channels lately popping up with more of these uploads of somebody that I used to drill they keep getting taken down but it's obvious that people like Jay Rilla's song if they're willing to create an entire channel dedicated to this one song and just upload it and upload 10 hour versions, one hour versions of this song because they like it so much and then they end up with thousands of views. Coincidence? I think not! So my babies, I just want to know whose side are you on? Are you on Gautier's side or are you on Jay Rilla's side? Who do you think is in the right? Who do you think is in the wrong? Are you looking forward to more J Rilla music or are you a Gautier fan and you're angry at me? I want to have a conversation about this in the comments down below. I look forward to seeing you there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my baby. Do you wanna be mine? I could take you out at 9 to 5